Okay, there it goes. Hi, everyone. This is Lisa from Happy Hook Creations. Hi, it's Amanda. And um, this is podcast number 48. 48. Wow. Mm-hmm. So um, I was going to do a podcast number 48 before when Amanda was not feeling all that great. She's still not 100%. But when I realized that it would be podcast number 48 and I was going to do it on Saturday, which would have been my mother's 70th birthday, I kind of just had to take a step back and just kind of reevaluate my day and um, just didn't feel much like doing um, a podcast. So <laughs> we, um, I had done something earlier with Abby um, the night before, and I was hoping to, but I'm glad that Amanda's back. So, um, yeah. So I'm feeling better. She's better, but not 100%. But we thought we would share with you because guess what we did today? Oh, Lord, we went shopping. We went shopping. We did. We went to um, Joanne Fabrics. Joanne Fabrics. And Hobby Lobby. And then Hobby Lobby. So, yeah. So, um, I'm going to let Amanda show you because she got more stuff than I did this time. And while Amanda is showing you, I am working up this beautiful pumpkin um, hometown yarn that we got. I am making a cowl. So that's what I'll be working on. And Amanda, take it. Okay. <laughs> take it from here. Whatever First, that goes. let me say, I got one of the best things you could ever buy. Mm-hmm. Oh. Cinnamon bears. Oh, yeah. They are pretty good. They're delicious. Yes, now, they are. Now, on to the crochet stuff. My mama bought that's me... me. <laughs> She bought me a, a knit, 35 projects to knit using supersized needles. So it's like a little book of, full of knitting stuff. It's adorable. All it's kinds of stuff. There's a really pretty tunic in there. I love that. Yeah. And you found something you liked in there already. Yeah. Show them what you liked. <laughs> this bag. I like that a lot. It is super cute. And I think I'm going to make it. Mm-hmm. So there's my book. Can't wait to start on that one. And then um, I went a little nuts on the yarn. A little. The dollop. She, she pulled Elisa. A little. Right? <laughs> I did, didn't I? Look. Yes. Okay, so we'll, because the Hobby Lobby bag's a little bit more. So we're going to do the Joanne fabrics. Um, so we got, let's see. Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. It's a sweet roll and it is Cheesecake Pop. Cheesecake pop. And it's like cream, coral, and tan. It's really pretty. It is very pretty. The camera doesn't really do it any justice. Mm -mm. But so I got three of these because I had to have it. I told her I was going to either make a shawl or like a a prayer, not a prayer shawl, but a prayer wrap, I guess it's called, or whatever. Wrap or shrug, maybe? Or a shrug, yeah. But okay. I was going to say, I know you were telling me about it. Pardon me. Yeah, it is one of those. And then we got this. It's a um, little bitty. Oh, that was our best find. Panda bears. Adorable. Um, And I haven't decided what I want to do with them yet. They were on sale. They're really pretty. I mean, they're glass beads. And they're panda bears. So mm-hmm. I was like... um, Win-win for us. Right? I want to get them. And I'm pretty sure... <coughs> Excuse me. Um, this one's broken. That's okay. Anyways, what? I'm. Yeah, I like the eye right there. See it? Oh, bummer. That's right. I'm. I'm pretty sure that I'm having a train of, like train wreck right now. <laughs> oh, Teresa King. She sent me some stitch markers when we did our swap, and I'm pretty sure she sent me one like this. So, um. That's, I had to buy it. Not, it wasn't an option. I had to get it. Um, okay, and so that was my Joanne Fabrics. Um, what's Paul. The word? Paul, thank you. Dad wants to know if you have, if you have more of those bears. You do, I want one. Okay, I want yeah, one. hold on. Okay, hold on just a second. <laughs> okay. Do we want to do Take that? Take to Dad. Okay. That's... For you. Cinnamon bears. See what happens. Okay. Two for you. When you two buy for them, Cameron. they will come. Go. Go. Abigail, do not eat any of those. 
Don't eat me. Take them all to your father, please. Thank you. Good day. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So, um, the cinnamon there. my Hobby Lobby haul, we'll start with the little dollops. I had some of these before. It's This one is the Velvet Victorian little dollop. And I'm pretty sure this is one of the ones that I sent. Yeah, that's pretty. Mary Todd. Um, so I had to get another one of those because I don't have one anymore. I'm pretty sure I sent this one too. It's Dainty <laughs> Little Danish. Again, the camera doesn't do it any justice. Uh, so it's like, I don't know. What color would that be? Um, I know it's blue, purple, like an orangish. Which brown, one? And That's then, like a rose. Maybe a. Um, it could be roseish. Yeah. Pinkish rose, whatever. Yeah. Um, and then this one is my absolute favorite. Water, that is adorable. Watermelon whispers. Yes. <laughs> I need like that one. Mm -hmm. There we go. There we go. Yeah, that's just really pretty. It is. It's. Yeah. Um, and this one I think I might keep for myself if I have another one, especially, and put it in my bathroom because it's got some of those colors in it, or keep it in my kitchen because it also has those colors in it. And it's that's true. Apple scents. So it's green. See that one's nice too. Blues and whites. They and are super like cute. It. And you were able to make two items from one ball, right? Yeah. Okay. And then I have the pudding pie, which I know I still have one of these there. Oh, that one I And like. it's just... It's like a denim or something. Yeah. Really I wouldn't think pudding pie for Me at all, but it's like <coughs> blues and whites. Okay, there you go. So, yeah. Nothing, uh -uh. nothing short of my favorite stuff. <laughs> yeah, you like the dollops. I'm going to show you guys at the end of this uh, video how much she likes the dollops. Because um, I videotaped our trip to Hobby Lobby. So I will be adding that to the end of this clip. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yeah. So it's these, adorable. it's the DIY yarn from Lion Brand. And they are originally 99 cents. But I got 30% off of all this yarn, really. Um, so this is just gray. Or, I'm sorry, it's charcoal. But. Uh, and that's to go in your bathroom, right? Yes. Okay. You can't really see it. Let me move this other one. Beep. So there's the label. But so I got one charcoal and I've got one regular gray, just a light. You still can't see it. There we go. Just a regular light gray. And then I got two of the teal <clears throat> because it my bathroom is teal and gray. And like almost a robin's egg blue. It's mm -hmm. really it's really rare. But so this is the teal that I got. I like that color. Yes. And I like then it, I, like it. I want to make a hand It's weird towel. that you have a, a bigger yarn haul than me this time. I know. Anyway, that's just, I'm just sitting here going, that's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make a hand towel for my bathroom. Um, so I've got slate gray. I like that. From color. Crafter's Secret Cotton, which is very nice. I don't think I've ever seen a gray cotton. See, when I bought mine at Michael's, that's what I thought, too. They had it on sale, and I thought, wow, it's gray. And I got two it's of these. crazy. Right? Yeah. So I got two of these. And then this one is also the Crafter's Secret Cotton. I do like that one. And this is Caribbean. Yeah, I can see that with all the colors but that they have blended in. I got it because it matches this really well. And so this is going to be the hand towel, I mean, like the towel um, ring. Holder. Yeah, the thingy. towel holder that uh -huh. you put over the bar and the towel just hangs through it. Gotcha. So this will be that. And then this is going to be like the hand towel. Of course, I'm going to alternate them. And the reason I bought one charcoal and one regular gray is because I have two different color grays in my bathroom. So I figured this and the light gray or the dark gray would be good. And then the char or the slate gray with the teal would be good together. And I got two of these. And then I bought, oh yes, these, the Fab Lab Craft Eyes. They're six millimeter. I hope they're big enough. But Mary, um, Todd? Nope. No, not Mary Todd. Mary Shaka. Uh, Shaka. Shaka. Okay. So Mary Shaka asked if my mom and I had any of these. And 
Well, I didn't. And <laughs> she, I think she said she. I have no idea where they did, are. Did but she doesn't. Know I where think they I are. bought a pack a while back um, to so, make an amigurumi, but nope. Yeah, so I bought these. They're just the solid black eyes. You can't really tell because the pack. There we go. So, um, yeah, they weren't they weren't a bad price either. So I might go back and get oh, bigger yeah. sizes because these are only six millimeter and they have several options. So I'll be sending those to yeah, her. Yeah, they did have quite a few. Mm -hmm. That's pretty cool. Well, I want to do on Wish. They have these in oh, bulk. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. I'll go in half with you. Let's get some. Okay. Might so as well. We'll do that. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to get some of these because I would like to start making, like, not quite, excuse me, not quite the loveys, but something similar or attempt to make my first amigurumi or what have you. I would like put to these do eyes that. on it. Yeah, I think it'd be cool. Let's do it. Um, but we'll get some eyes. I'll speaking some of stuff amigurumi you. stuff, there was a book called Zoomagurumi at Joanne Fabrics. I didn't really look at it. Yeah. But it's similar to the amigurumi stuff. Like it was just a little monkey on the front page. Yeah. And I couldn't figure out why it was called Zoomagurumi. Maybe because they whip up really fast. Who knows? But um, so that was my haul. Oh, Zoom, not Zoo. Zoom. I was like, well, I thought it was because oh, of the Oh, well, it could have been Zoo, Zoo Magroomy, like Z O O, and then Magro like with an M. Right. But um, so it could just it could be, be strictly that. Zoo animals. That that either one. But that could be. Um, I'm gonna look at it both ways. There's Zoo animals that zoom fast when it comes <laughs> to crocheting. Yeah. Why not? So. Yeah, there's that. Yes. But, so I was excited. I got my yarn. Heck yeah. Like I said, it's weird that you had a bigger yarn haul than me. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? Yeah, but you got like a really, really, really pretty color. Okay, so um, it's my turn now? It is her turn. I'm going to pass it over. It's my turn. Just passing it on to the mama. Okay. So, oh gosh, she's getting into those cinnamon bears. All right, guys. So first of all. Yeah, so the Hobby Lobby one was great. Um, I want to show, because you didn't bring any whips or anything, do you? Oh, she can't talk now because she's got food in her mouth. No, it's cool. I can't show any of them because it's all for swaps. Oh, that's right. I still have several that's swaps. That's right, she does. I know my glasses are getting, maybe I should just take them off. I'll take them off for now. Because, that. yeah, we're not reading anything, so we'll just take them off. Okay, so, yeah, because it was. <laughs> oh, you're so goofy. Oh my goodness. Hey, six eyes. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> okay, so let me show you the two whips that I do have. Um, <clears throat> first of all, I wanted to show you how much this this works up really fast. Um, and this was that the pumpkin. Yeah, you said pumpkin. Okay. Yeah, the hometown USA that I purchased for a dollar fifty at Walmart. And oh my gosh, I wish you guys could see it. I don't think it's see it won't show it, but it's got it's a very very it's just it's very color. gorgeous. The so camera doesn't do it. Justice. What I'm doing with this is making this. Now this is thicker, obviously. This is this one's going to be for a child. This is used with um, thick and quick woolies and two skeins of that, and I've made them that that super thick. It's just it's really nice, and it's called the Caracal, and it's by. Who is it by? Krista or Christy. Christy Cagle. And the website is called rescuedpawdesigns.com. It is a free pattern. And I'll put the link um, below for you guys. Because I I made several of these. They whip up super fast. You use an end hook. That's what I'm using here. And yeah, it, it's really fast and it's adorable and you can make multiple colors. And if you don't have chunky yarn, um, because I wanted to see how it was going to work both ways with either a chunky or six, five, um, a six or a five chunky, I used two strands of yarn together, worked out just, just as well. So, um, if you don't have any chunky yarn hanging around, get on Ravelry. She's on Ravelry. And as soon as you click on the free English version or whichever version you're needing, It'll take you to the rescuedpoddesigns.com and then you can print up the um, the pattern. And um, like I said, I used Hometown USA she, and an end hook. She uses an end hook and uh, Thick and Quick Wool Ease by Lion Brand. But 
if you know to get a different effect because you guys know I'm all about that. Um, I always like to try different ways so I know you know that I can use uh, you know to utilize all my yarn versus just having to use one specific specific type for a, a pattern. So if you have two strands that you want to use together, two different colors, two of the same, whatever, it's going to work up just the same. Um, but I did not change the hook. I, I kept the end hook. I just used a different um, type of yarn. So there's that first one. And the second one is from our Tuesday live podcast when I was showing you guys the yarn that I purchased at Walmart. And oh, yeah. this is Grape Fuzz. So this is how far I got today so far. And I'm glad I bought more than one because it's going pretty quick. This will be an adult size. So, I mean, those colors are just gorgeous. And this is why I prefer um, variegated yarn versus, say, um, okay, perfect example. Give me one of your cake yarns or, or one of your sweet rolls. Because when you use when you use something like this, you get all kinds of beautiful colors in the center and oh, all the I way see around. What you're saying. You in see the what I mean? Variegated, right. it's all different colors. With yeah, this, with this, you're gonna get a lot of one the color, mm -hmm. then it'll be another one, then another one. And this to me, um, I don't know. I just I just like this. Now, if I I've made a few single because I made the purple one. And then I got oh. coral up. I figured I'd probably make a coral one as well. Oh, so I've give made. That to me too. Here we go. Not everything has to be yours, Amanda. If it's in coral, oh my gosh. But anyway, I'm really, I'm really happy with how it's turning out. The colors are great. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just gorgeous. So I can't wait to finish that. Hopefully, it'll have to be done by oh Tuesday. We're not going to be able to do our podcast, our live Tuesday. one. Oh yeah, she'll be. I'll out be of in town. St. Louis. Yeah, I'll be out of town for a couple of days for work. Um. But, um, yeah, so those are my only two whips that I have. So let me show you what I purchased because I'm, and I don't have a lot. It's weird that she bought more stuff than me. So, um, I wanted to make, um, a shell stitch hat that I saw online. It was a shell stitch with this cute fuzzy pom pom. And I have, I mean, I bought all kinds of little fuzzies. They have these on sale at justice. And if, I don't know if you can see that, but it's got little dips of color right on the edges here. And these little babies were like 49 cents after the discount. So I want to put these on some hats. And I just think that would look adorable on top of this. I bought Retro Stripe. So and I hadn't used this one yet. I really like it. So I cannot wait to make a hat. Man, that's pretty. Yeah, I really like it. That's what that, so that's what that's for. And then when... Um, when we were at Hobby Lobby, that was at Joanne Fabrics. Oh, wait, I'm getting ahead of myself. Joanne Fabrics, I got one other thing. Um, I bought, you guys know that my sister-in-law, if you're watching Tuesday, you noticed that I, I showed you that she bought me this book. It has 500 uh, stitches in it. Mm -hmm. It says, the complete book of crochet stitch designs, 500 classic and original patterns. And guys, it's, it's just incredible. Um, which one was the one that I really liked? Oh, there's so many. Well, this one is really cool. What is this one called? Let's see. I don't know if it's a, probably a pineapple, maybe. I don't know. I just think it's really cool. Look at that design. Isn't that neat? I think that's gorgeous. So anyway, They've got, oh, it's got a lot of neat stuff in here. And I, um, you know, I'm sharing with Amanda. So I'll put that over there because I know you want to take it home. Mm -hmm. um, they're having a 75th anniversary sale at Joanne Fabrics. And they were, they handed out scratch offs and then, you know, a bunch of coupons. Um, so I got this book for half off and it is the complete crochet stitch Bible. And I've just been skimming through it. But there are just some really cool things like this one. Um, this collection yeah. is the Clusters, Puffs, and Bobbles. And this is the Pansy Trim. I mean, it's just got some really neat things in here. So I can't wait to go through it and, um, you know, really look in here and see what we have. This, this one, I mean, this is called the Bridge Stitch. Look at that. That's just beautiful. I love it. So I like it. 
So, you know, I was thinking. Yes. What I would like to do is I'd like to get a spiral notebook like that or whatever. Sure. And start writing down all the patterns that I've already done. It's a good idea. And then, so like that would be the first half of the book. Mm -hmm. And then all the patterns that I would like to do, write all those down too. And then, you know, just the ones that I find most difficult or intimidating. I'd like to write that down as well and try to conquer that, like take baby steps to try to get to. That's a good idea because, you know, when I first saw the virus shawl, I was like, mm, nope, no way I'm going to be able to do that one. Not at all. Said the same thing about the butterfly stitch. I'm like, mm, you know, it just looks kind of complicated. And I'm, I'm just all about whipping something up. Mm -hmm. And, and, um, you know. And that's I, something you whip up very quickly. <laughs> I went for it and I thought, oh my gosh, I love this pattern. Yeah. So that's a great idea. And you know what? Maybe you should just get two notebooks. One for the patterns that you've done, because I guarantee you, you've done more than you think. Right. Um, especially conquering the crocodile stitch. Right. See? So then you can you should have one for patterns that I've done, and then another one for patterns that I want to do or, or conquer, as you said. Mm -hmm. And, you know, check them off as you go. Well, I mean... That's it, a great... Um, that's... That's a great thing. Right. Well, I was thinking about it because it's like all the things that I've Excuse I've done me, is um, like the simple stuff. But I want to put down, okay, so this is what I've done and this is what I've made with it. Right. So like the crocodile stitch, the first thing I made was I can't say. <laughs> was I, I can't say. <laughs> it was something for a swap. And that was You're the very funny. first time I've done it. So I can write that down. And then the second thing that I made was that bag for Jordan. Yeah. And then I'm working on that third thing, which I had to stop because I was like getting, like, oh, I don't know what other colors I want to use. So I just had to stop. Yeah. You, she was getting a little frustrating, so, frustrated and, and, and uh, anxious. Yeah. So I think anxious. what I'll do is I'll make that um, just like an um, owl amigurumi plushy type thing mm -hmm. um, and just have feathers all the way around it. I think it'll be cool. But I, I just want to be able to write those things down like, hey, I conquered the crocodile stitch. This is what I made from it. Did I really only get the the yarn? That was the only thing I got at Hobby Lobby? That in your book? My God, what's wrong with me? I am going... Well, wait, you guys will see all the yarn that was there. You So walking out with just oh, these two Hobby things? Oh, Hobby Lobby, yes. At Hobby Lobby? Hobby Lobby? Oh, my God. So, yeah, Pretty definitely nice. definitely stick around for the, the clip. Because I'm... <laughs> this one went a little goofy. So, okay, so at Hobby Lobby, I went to check out the Urban Chic. They didn't have anything new. It was the same old stuff. Mm -hmm. But I saw this and I thought, man, so this is the Yarn B Stripe It. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that. Look at that. And what it is, is um, it's black and red. They had white and red. Oh, and they had several colors. Gray and, something. Be... and like six, maybe six different colors, I think. I don't know. They'll be able to see it, though, because in the clip you. Yeah, I showed it to you. In the, yeah, in the clip. Just just look out. Look for that one. And. It's um it says that it does five inch five inch stripes. So that's what it says here. Let me see if I can kind of bend it a little bit. Can you see that? Where it says five it says five inch stripes. So that's what it does. And I thought, man, how cool is that? So I bought two and we shall see what happens. And this almost looks orange on the thing, but it's a very, very deep red. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So I got the red and black, and I have no idea what I'm going to make with them, but they're 192, let me see, um, 196 yards. So I got 382 yards, or 92 yards to work with. So that's pretty good. We can figure it out. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think a shawl would be kind of cool. Yeah. You know who would really like I might have colors. to whip it up. Who? Your mother. Oh, yeah. That's why I got them. Yeah, well, my mother's favorite colors were black and red. Yeah. So and they're my favorite colors. So yeah, of. if she if she were here today, she would see those. If I had if I had bought those for her, she would absolutely just go nuts because yeah, she loved. These you made colors. her, didn't you? Make she her? would probably make a, a granny square because she liked making oh, granny yeah. squares. Oh my gosh, she was like a granny square. Fanatic. You made her a red and black blanket, didn't you? I did. It, it that's the one that was stolen. That's what I thought. I was gonna but say. I did make her one when my mother was in the hospital. Um, you know we. We were not sure she was going to make it or not. They had moved her to um, hospice care. And so she was living in Albuquerque at the time. So I called them and I said, look, I'm going to send something to her in the mail. Just make sure she gets it because she had Raynaud's disease. And the tips of her fingers and her feet were always cold. So um, 
they always had to make sure she had warm blankets. Mm -hmm. So I crocheted one. No, we're not playing guns right now, honey. No, yeah, okay, we go. don't do that. Go on. Just say hi. All right, you said hi. Thank you. So um, I I did make her one. I crocheted her a blanket, and you know I worked like day and night for five full days to get this thing finished because it fit her entire bed that she was um, that she had in her in her room. Right, which so. Was a a twin, like a, a twin size yeah, yeah, bed. Yeah. I thought for some reason it was a full, but yeah, it was a twin. She absolutely loved it. She had it there. They took her for therapy. Someone had taken it. I was not happy. So I called, I gave them what for. Um, and of course I didn't have, I mean, she was very, I mean, she was seriously distraught. Um, she did not want me to make, I'm sorry. She did not want me to make another one in um, red, and red and black. So um, I picked a totally different, color scheme for her and when she passed away I brought it back with me so but you know I think it's just it's pretty sad that um you know you can clearly see that the item had been handmade and you know to take it off of someone's bed a patient's bed to me that was that was just the ultimate that was horrible yeah. I mean I was just I, I I just lost a little bit of of faith in people when that happened, because I was so far away from her and wanted to be near her. And I thought this was the next best thing. And she knew that I had made this for her and was, you know, I, I sent it overnight so it could be there. She knew it was coming. And then the very next day after she had it on her bed one day, someone took it. So, yeah, yeah was not happy. But, you know, anyway. Oh, <laughs> Jordan's outside. So, yeah. So, anyway. I'm, huh? Huh? Do what? I don't even know what she said. I have no clue. She said something, something. She goes, okay, got it. And then that was it. So, bye. So, anyway, yep. I'll I'll probably make a shawl or something. And maybe a poncho if I have enough. She likes ponchos, too. That'd be cool. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway. <sighs> that's, that's something I'd also like to do. Make a poncho? Yes. I'm going to rat you out because you didn't. I don't think you told anybody. So, she made a poncho for a little kid. I did. Mm-hmm. And it was her own design. I, I don't and know it was that absolutely beautiful. I'll have to show that again. I don't, I don't know, know if she's ever shown it or if she's ever told you that she wrote that she made that pattern herself. I don't even know if she wrote it down. I I'd didn't. like to do it. It was beautiful. And it was two toned. So one side like the side coming this way was like I have no idea what that I think it was happen. either a pinkish purple or something it was really pretty so it, this way it was a pinkish purplish type color and then in the back going the opposite direction was all pink mm -hmm. it was very pretty i'm glad you liked that and I didn't, it was just something i was playing around with just playing around with some stitches to see why well, i was proud because it was thank her very you. own thank you sweetheart pattern. i i will have to find that and write it down because i um i actually think i had taken a picture of it a while back and because i used a cake yarn um I entered it in the cakewalk that Emma's got, or Emma, Ella, uh -huh. yeah, that Ella's doing. Did you post it on your Facebook page? I don't know. I don't think I did. Hmm. Shame on me. The kids are leaving. Bye. Good riddance. I mean, uh, <laughs> bye. They've literally been driving her nuts all day, so. They just don't listen. Oh. That's, all. that's all it is. Yeah. Mom has zero well, patience. we fed the men, so that's all we cared about. Because we were at like we were at Hobby Lobby at six o'clock, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, we gotta go! <laughs> we gotta go! They're gonna be home. They're gonna be like, where's dinner? What's going on?" Yeah. So, because we usually do our podcast a lot earlier, but um, well, it was a busy day for me because yeah. I'm going to be in a wedding in October, and so um, are. I was wow, with the bride I'm, to you know the bride to be. I was I with her, fun. and we were doing you know some wedding shopping and stuff and I got some really cool shoes. Ooh, can I show off my shoes? Sure. Show your shoes off. Why not? I think they're gorgeous. They are. So I got these to wear for the wedding. They're just silver lacy. You can't even see them. There they go. So they're just lacy shoes. Super pretty. Love, love, love them. And so I'll be wearing these at the wedding. Like, yay! But Here's the best part about these shoes and the dress that I'm wearing in the wedding. You can wear them again. Well, because I like to dress up anyway. So, I'll find a reason to wear these again. I'll find a reason to wear that dress again. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> it was really nice. They are pretty and they were definitely made for her, let me tell you. <laughs> 
They're you won't catch me in heels like that. Yeah. No way, buddy. <laughs> Not even when I was younger. No way, buddy. That's right. No, they're they're very comfortable. They got like <sighs> cushion in the the top for the balls of your feet. It's really. Yeah. I'm also gonna have to do something about my dresses. Are you gonna take those to your craft show? Yeah. You should. Yeah. Those are the dresses that I made through Mikey um, Crochet Crowd. Yeah. Yep. The little sweetie dress. It's a red heart pattern free. Little sweetie dress. I need Absolutely to, adorable. I have a friend whose daughter, she's the only child, and she's still really young and beautiful. She's got this curly blonde hair. It's mm -hmm. adorable. And I would love to see uh, what size she wears so I can get her one of those. Oh, yeah, because I make them in. Show and it get, that's, um, she's, she's showing you dresses. See, this wasn't supposed to be a long podcast. You see how this works? It's only been half, but, half an hour. Yeah, not we're not bad. doing too bad. So, if can you reach one of those? Mm -hmm. I've shown these dresses before um, in earlier podcasts, but um, I've made several now, and they're all going to the craft show in just a couple of weeks, actually. Um, but I'd love to show them to you guys again. Um, yeah, I've made... Yeah, there's quite a few. Here. I like this one. She's picking the one she likes the best. What a knuckle. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I made, that, I made this... Um, this one still needs a button. Oh, yeah. So here's one of them. This was made with red heart stripes. Yeah. Parrot stripes, I think. But Excuse me. there's this one. Oh my gosh. I really wish we had better lighting. I yeah, got, we got to work on that. Cause justice. this is such a bright, I mean, this is like a bright pink and then orange and that's almost like a coral color too. Yeah. It's just. So, but they work up really quick. Um, and again, <laughs> you guys know me. He has you using, um, I don't even know what size hook. Gosh, I'm just, and I'm, uh, the purple, hand me the purple one. This one. Yeah. So this one's just a little bit smaller. You see this one? It's got these really pretty this flecks. Is there you go. You can see the little shimmer. This is the one I should have and this was used, what did I use for this one? Um, it was a shimmering, my gosh, I cannot for the life of me remember what yarn I used. But you see the difference? This was, I used an H hook on some, an I hook. Um, I think the biggest hook I used was a J for the orange one. Oh, yeah. But, you know, if you, and and again, it's the same with the big sky shawl. That's why I love this pattern so much. Um I mean, I, I make this dress all the time. The little sweetie dress, red heart. If you change the stitch or the the um, hook, the stitch will be, I mean, it'll be smaller. So that's all I did. I use the exact same because he has you chain 50. So I always start with a chain of 50, the same. It comes out the same, just miniature or larger, depending on how you do it. And these are these dresses are just darling. Yeah. Put your own little, you know, you put your own little um, edging on them, and um, the like, like the green one that I made with all the ruffles. That oh. that Jordan thought was hers, but I was like, no, sweetie, you're too big for me. It's too little for you. Yeah. <laughs> so um, I'll probably do a video on that because I'm looking at them. And I've got one, two, three, four, six, seven. I have eight dresses that I've made that are going to the craft show. So. Um, I'll go, I'll, I'll um, do a quick little video and go more in detail on what yarn I used and what size hook I used because I write everything down. That way I know, um, I because I, I, I'll, I'll be like this, like going, I don't know. I don't know what, I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> but but anyway, so definitely be, be sure to, to um, um, are you okay over there? She's like leaning all over the place. Yeah. You all right? Yeah. Okay. Um, be sure to check out the video at the end. Um, it's a little choppy because we were shopping and back and forth. We only had camera with us, but we were going a little nuts. We should not go to shopping together for, yeah, no, because it's a good thing she was there because I was like, Manda, I don't need any more yarn. Just tell me I don't need any more yarn. I had to buy the black and red, but if you see the color schemes that they got, oh my gosh, they're just, the problem is, is. They're gorgeous. I was the one trying to convince her to get yarn. I was like, oh, do you have this one? Oh, do you have that one? I think you should get it. 
I was like, I already got it. I have all those already. I have them already. She goes, oh, and then she says, well, what color is it then? And I, I told her, she goes, I hate you. Uh, man. <laughs> it was funny because it was a lady walking by in the aisle. And I'm just cracking up. And I guess she thought maybe Amanda was serious for a second until yeah. I started laughing. No, yeah. But, um, yeah, it was super funny. Um, but anyway, Amanda and I have, I have decided she's going to help me. I've decided that I am going to do grab bags. Um, not quite sure how I'm going to get that work together. So give me, you know, give me a few days to figure it out. Maybe when I get back from St. Louis next week, um, I will get some bags together and, um, decide how, you know, how it's, we're going to price everything and what we're going to do. And it's probably not going to be a very big bag. No, no, like, not at know all. Those, um, just a, um, craft bags, so tiny ones where you can just fit one good project in there. Yeah. You could do something like, like we could do something like that. Yeah, absolutely. Craft bag and a couple things. Absolutely. I think that would probably be great. Anyway, um, thank you guys for, for hanging out with us. We appreciate you. Um, our numbers just continue to go up and for that, we are extremely grateful. Um, you know, I totally feel blessed. Somebody had made a comment. I wish I could remember who it was when I did my last podcast with my daughter, Abigail, and, um, she said that, that I was extremely lucky to have yet another daughter who shares my craft. Um, and I, and you know, that's, that's exactly how I feel. I feel, um, lucky and extremely blessed and very grateful. Um, because you know, you guys, my other daughter, Jessica, who we are already in the works of talking about doing, um, a podcast, a FaceTime, something to introduce you to her, um, together. She's crocheting right now. She did that amazing blanket. She put on our Facebook page, the wonder woman blanket for her best friend. She is now working on a toothless blanket for her son. Who's going to be three next month, unless we're almost a month, September 12th. I can't believe it already going to be three. So she's working on that. And then you guys know, I've got my Amanda my panda bear and I've, I've got Abby. And you know, the funny thing is Abby was, um, she enjoyed doing the podcast with me so much. She said, mom, I think I want my own podcast. Yeah. And I'm going to call myself the looming lunatic. <laughs> I said, okay. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, we'll see how that works. She's making a, um, a hat right now. So thank, thank you guys so much for your support. We, um, you know, couldn't be, um, happier to have you guys, you know, tune in with us twice a week or whatever we have to, you know, throw an extra one in there. Or if we've got something going on and takes us a little longer, just thanks for your patience, for your support. We appreciate the ones who have been with us from the very beginning when it was just me. Um, and, you know, you welcome my daughters and, and you know, any, any other change that we have going on with open arms and heart. So thank you so much for that. Um, and yeah, keep hitting that like button. The, um, keep subscribing. Send people, you know, send, share our videos for sure. And that's it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, come join me for my late. She's gonna go chat. home and take it. She's gonna go home and go to bed. I'm, <laughs> I was gonna say take a nap, but it's almost nine o'clock. We're going. We're we're gonna get off here. But um, thank you very much. And again, we will not be doing a live podcast on Tuesday unless Amanda wants to hop in and. And, you know, maybe show you what she's working on. It's totally up to you. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. But I will be back for our Thursday podcast. Um, maybe uh, we might do something Wednesday. I scheduled myself Wednesday and Thursday off. Yeah. So instead of Tuesday, maybe we'll do something live. We'll make sure we're not um, interfering with anybody else's live podcast. I don't know how, how that works. Well, Wednesday is the first day of school here. Yeah, we're definitely going to do something. I think we're, we're going to each have a sip of wine and moms, let's, let's get together. <laughs> let's have a little, uh, we'll have our little live chat. Mm -hmm. I think that sounds great. Um, anyway, yeah. So I'll add the clip to our, at the end of this video for, um, to show you what we got at Hobby Lobby. Um, I mean, not that we haven't already, but I wanted to show you the yarn. It was awesome. Mm -hmm. So anything else? My panda bear. No, just like I said, come join That's me it. for my late night chat at Amanda Panda Talk. Will you be doing that tonight? Oh, we'll see how I'm feeling because my okay. chest. Okay, yeah, really it's time. Yeah, she's 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 not feeling it too much, but that's all right. We're gonna we'll have her go lay down and we're good to go. So anyway, thank you guys for joining us, um, and we'll see you when we see you. Yep. Happy hooking. <laughs> Bye. Bye.